painting with Miss Paula. Miss Paula is my paintbrush. This was in your packet. We've already gone through several of the tips and I'm going to go through them a little bit more. Uh, you will have a tray. You will uh, rearrange your area. Your cups are always filled half full. Uh, when you are cleaning your brush this year, something that I have uh, uh, learned from another art teacher is you clean in the number eight. So when it's on the bottom, if you draw a number eight on the bottom of your water cup, not pressing too hard, but you're swirling in that, it really gets the brush nice and clean. And then you very carefully on the edge, you wipe it off, make sure it's clean, get paper towels if you need them, dry it, reshape it. Some of our paints you add water, some of them do, you do not. If it's dry and scratchy, temper cakes, you have to add water. These are beautiful new paints that we got with new containers. They are fluorescent. This is red, pink, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Always make sure when you're sharing with your shoulder buddy, only two are off at a time, not more than that. And uh, you make sure you close them not too tight, but please make sure they're closed. Stack them on the tray. Wipe anything up. You don't want to... Oh, and one of our main rules in here, everybody say never, ever, never, ever mix because you will be sharing these with everybody in the school. And I have about 600 kids, so we don't want to ruin our paints. These are our regular tempers. They're off of Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, which is purple. Same thing, have the caps on. I try to keep them filled. They don't need to be all the way up the top, but if you need more paint, raise your hand. I'll bring them to you. Uh, the trays will look like this. If you need more paper towels, you go get them. We work together as a team. Your paintbrush might look like either one of these. This, these are both Miss Paula's. These are both round. This one has a grippy. We take care of our stuff that's in here. We hold it like a ballerina. Remember, we dip the tip. We don't put our hand on the paper. And when we clean it, swirl it in an eight. She only likes her hair dipped in right there. You can see it better only the tip of the paintbrush. We don't booty scoot, which means we press it hard. And artists, when you get your paintbrush, if it looks like this, be careful. But otherwise, I want you to turn it over. And if you press hard, look at that, how that's hurting my hand. We don't want to do that. You want to think of taking your brush and tickling. That's how you want it to be on your paper. And you pull towards you, artist. Remember, she's a ballerina. She always wants to be on the tip. And don't cover with the barrel. Remember, we carry it like that and we will be practicing painting.